Hey guys, Stephen John Phillips here. Hey, you can call me Stephen. Hey, welcome to class. I wanted to read you just a little bit here so we're all on the same page as far as what this class is about. Um, digital image illustration. This class provides students with a more in-depth experience using digital imaging software. Students will explore channels, masks, basic compositing, vector tools, and layer techniques. In addition, the course will cover efficient workflow from input to output, color correction, and elementary color management. Yep, that's what the class is about. Basically, it's about Photoshop, but I also want to make sure that you get a taste of what's going on with digital imaging now. I personally do a lot of digital illustration and digital photo illustration, so I want to make sure that everybody gets introduced to that. I want you to go and look at as much stuff as you possibly can. I'm going to show you some things. Photoshop can be very, very intricate, or it can be very, very simple. Um, here's a job that I did recently for Simpson Racing. Um, let's see, this isn't real, it's some bad glare, but you can get the idea. Um, I shot the model uh, in the studio, and then they wanted it to have a feeling like an x-ray. So basically, look, that's a very simple Photoshop layer that has just been scaled back transparency-wise, so it feels like this kind of x-ray image floating over top. Very simple Photoshop. Here's another one that I did for them, and you can see that you can literally see through the safety belt um, onto the skin. Again, very simple transparency. Sometimes it's just something really, really minor. Look at this one. I did this for a film festival, and the only thing that's been photoshopped here is the floating crown over her head. And it's just basically a, um, a cinema film container. So, you know, Photoshop can be very, very intricate or simple. Here's a cover I did for DC Comics. This was, let's see, bad glare, bad glare. Uh, how about if we pull it back? There we go. That's not too bad. That's a very simple piece. Uh, it's on, it was on Leonardo da Vinci. It was called Caroscuro. Um, three layers, really. Very, very simple. Um, Photoshop can be really, really involved or really, really simple. And it depends upon what you're looking for. Um, again, as I said, I do a lot of photo illustration. Here's one that was for the diagnosis and treatment of migraines. And this one was all about migraine headaches. So they wanted it to be I shot this figure, the model, and then it's basically um, a stock shot of um, uh, thunder and lightning, and basically it's just uh, Photoshop over top. Um, as I mentioned, I do a lot of stuff for comic books and graphic novels. Um, I've done three um, graphic novels for DC Comics. Um, this one was called I Paparazzi, and when you look at it, it is basically a photographic comic book. Um, and this one got pretty involved. I worked with another artist, Stephen Park, on this, um, another digital artist, just because the amount of time on him was absolutely incredible. Um, here's another one I did called Veils. And this one, again, has some very intricate Photoshopping going on. Um, they didn't have the money um, to send me to um, Turkey or Morocco or wherever this in fact was shot. So basically most of the images were shot in the studio and then they were dropped in and composited um, in here's a very very big harem room and this one again you can really kind of see um, it had to be created. It was really the only way to do it. They didn't have the budget. Here's another one I did for DC um, on Edgar Allan Poe and this one again was um, done the same way. Basically shot in the studio and a lot of the backdrops and whatnot were all put in in Photoshop. Um, okay, so if any of you guys really want to see any more of this stuff you can just go to my website which is just my name and it's www.stephenjohnphillips.com so you can go there if you want to see anything. Um, let's see, let's look at a few more things. Again, I get a lot of work for kind of alternative techniques. Um, again, some are Photoshop. Some are actually, uh, some of these were actually uh, shot and done in the darkroom. 
So a lot of mixed media stuff. Okay. Um, I also really want to encourage you guys to look at reference. Go to Barnes & Noble. Go to places that you can look at magazines. Look at European magazines. Look at magazines that showcase digital imaging. Um, juxtapose. Juxtapose does a lot of unusual art and culture. Um, they always have some interesting digital images. Um, they also have... Um, Here's some images that were actually shot with um, pinhole cameras. This artist makes these incredible pinhole cameras um, out of everything from skulls to just about anything, you name it. Um, I have High Fructose here is another magazine that you can look at that does a lot of really unusual things um, with imagery that has been manipulated. So definitely look for um, High Fructose magazine. Again, these are all publications that you can find. Um, look again at European photo magazines. This is French photo. This was one that was done on um, David LaChapelle, um, sort of big, well-known fashion photographer. Um, go to the comic book store, not just because I work in comics, but there's some really, really interesting, innovative things going on, especially in digital illustration. Um, these covers were all done in Photoshop as well. Photoshop now enables you guys to do things that you could never have dreamed of doing. Um, it used to be when I first started photography, if I wanted to do something really unusual, it had to be like cut and pasted and, and then re-photographed and airbrushed and it still wasn't believable. Now you can do something incredibly believable um, in Photoshop, and so the sky's the limit. So basically this class is about us um, learning a little bit of Photoshop, learning a workflow, um, and figuring out how basically this stuff is going to fit together, and when you get out of here, how you can work in photo illustration and digital illustration. Okay? So, look, I'm ready to go. I hope you guys are ready to go. Um, we're going to get started on Thursday. And, um, you know, again, call me Stephen. All the information is in the, um, in the actual class for my office hours and whatnot. But I kind of like to do these videos because I think it helps when you see somebody um, and know that it's like a person on the other end. Okay? So, look, I look forward to seeing everybody. Um, I'll see you in class. And um, let's have a great time. Okay. Bye-bye.